I'm sorry. But it's time. Okay, so I actually am gonna dremel off part of this tractor, but let me show you why. So I utilize John Deere Operation Center to keep track of all my farm data, uh, tractor location, GPS location at all times, and also tractor analytics. And in order to do that, you need one of these. This is a John Deere MTG. And most tractors have a spot in the cab where you can mount these and it's already pre-wired and everything and you just plug it in and you go. However, that started in 2011. This is a 2010 John Deere 8320R. And in 2009, 2010, and older series is obviously, there was nowhere to mount one of these MTGs. So I have been designing and developing these uh, brackets. So this bracket actually goes inside this cubby right here. Let me grab it. And it sits in here just like that. And then you can wire the cables to the diagnostic port and whatever. But the reason that I need the Dremel is because I need to cut a little slit out the side here so I can run these cables out. See, that doesn't look that bad at all. Maybe could make it a little bit bigger, but like, still closes all the way. All right, finished it. So, here's the MTG in here. There's still plenty of room to throw some papers or gloves or parts or whatever in there. And then I have the cables neatly tucked underneath this floor mat in the back. And then I have the diagnostic port plugged in right there. And then the cable that goes to the monitor is just hanging from the bracket because I don't have a monitor in here yet. And then the antenna bracket or antenna harness is coming from underneath that mat out the back window. And then if I go up the side of the tractor here, here's the antenna cable. And then we also have our rate controller or our velocity sensor for a rate controller coming up. Comes up the side of the corner post. I have a P-clamp right there. It goes up on top of the roof another P-clamp, and then I put it underneath that bracket on the roof. There's a velocity sensor, and there's the antenna for the MTG. The reason I put this one on the roof, in the past I've never put them on the roof, but this next year, we want to use machine sync with the grain cart, and this will be our grain cart tractor. So that way the combine and the tractor, grain cart tractor talk to each other, and the combine operator can actually control the speed of the grain cart. I'm also bringing back merch. So this is some of my new merch right here. This is the American Flag Farmer hoodie. I have this in a lot of different colors. I have a couple other designs, both hoodies and t-shirts, lots of colors, adult and youth sizes. Uh, just to let you know, the adult hoodies do run about a size small. I, I'm a medium, and this is a medium right here, but it's very tight on me. And uh, I ordered one for my dad as well, and he said it was very tight on him as well. So probably order a size up if you're buying an adult hoodie. So I'll leave a link for all that in the description. I, I got rid of all my logo stuff. So like, I don't think any, maybe one of the use things does, but none of the adult stuff contains any Sixth Farmer logos because I want it to be like a sweatshirt or a shirt that you can wear anywhere and people understand. So. Like this, this is one of my favorite designs ever. Like I will probably wear this everywhere. So if you're looking for a way to support the channel, buying a sweatshirt or a t-shirt or a hat or something is the best way to do it. Or if you're in need of an MTG mount, this is the corner post mount that I have here in our 8410T. Um, I also have some monitor or some wire cable brackets like this one right here. Uh, that's all available at my store. Like I said, I'll leave a link down in the description. Uh, I'm planning on here in the future making it less like merch stuff and more tractor accessories. And not only for John Deere stuff, I want to make like colorblind uh, tractor or farming accessories. So uh, there, when you check out on my store, there's a way to enter an emailing list. If you guys want to send up for that, it'd be like one or two or three emails a year. Just be like, hey, here's some new things that came out. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for some stuff that I have planned for the future. I hear something a bit different. Well, how many of these you get? 84? 84. 80. So these are like mini collapsible storage containers. Yeah. 
Um, so what? What's you in these typically? I don't know. Like just a lot of pack. Like, we got it from distribution plant up in the cities. The 84 of them, and uh, they had about a thousand in there, and they're selling these 84. And yeah, bought them <laughs> because we're gonna do some storage. Uh, a lot of organization going on this winter. Correct. And uh, like half price of new. I bought them for 75. I think they're like 250 to 300 new. Okay. So. Yeah. Pretty. And good. they're not in perfect condition, but they're. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things where it's if, like, if anyone wants to buy any for 125 bucks, I'd sell you a couple. So, I'll leave a link down in the description how to contact. I'm me. not delivering. <laughs> <laughs> so, we kind of started to realize that we have a lot of stuff. Uh, a lot of it is like. Like, a lot of people look at it as junk, but in certain situations, you need some stuff. And it saves a heck of a lot of money if you can use something you have lying around rather than buying new, especially nowadays. So, obviously, we have our shop and our shed over there, but we have a couple of outbuildings here that we're trying to organize a lot of the stuff in. So, we have pallet racking coming. Now, we have 84 of these collapsible containers. And uh, we're going to try and get, like, locking doors on them, too, and locking garage doors so that way no one can come and steal our stuff. Just gonna watch it fall on top of you, or what's the plan? I, I think it's fine. Just be be gentle. So here's one uncollapsed. Just small, nice little storage containers. If I step inside this one, oh, see they just collapse down. Go back up, put stuff in them, store it, stack them on pallet racking, whatever. Works pretty nice. I'm pretty sure they're stackable when they are unfolded too. I think. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I'm six foot tall and it's I don't know, probably two and a half foot from the bottom to the top of the sidewalls here. Pretty handy little things. We gotta stop going on Facebook Marketplace. And you wouldn't. I know. <laughs> and then it wouldn't be all messed up. No. But the hard thing is, is if we do we start using these, they're solid sides. So in order to like we have to remember where stuff well, is. And... I think we can leave one side open. Okay. Or cut one side off if we want to. And then see. Because they're Jeez. so they're stackable when they're open, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um I don't know. We'll see. Maybe, yeah. Maybe the bottom they, ones you. They might not be as handy as I think they are, but I was about putting them. You bought that pallet racking. Yep. And I was about putting them on the pallet racking so it's nice and neat. No, that makes sense. But Otherwise, I, it just comes such a can, like a spaghetti pile mess of yeah. stuff. Right now we got the north end of that shop. You probably haven't they, shown they, them. They've never seen the north end of the it's shop. Kind of, it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Yeah, Basically, it's, pretty bad. it's um, a bunch of pallet racking with crap just piled on it, and it's gonna take two or three weeks to clean it all out. Yeah, but hopefully in the next uh, nine to twelve months we can we have time Start, to do that. Yep. So. Kind of take a little bit by little bit. Yep. Also, in the last video, somebody asked if you were a fugitive because you're so scared of the camera. Who's <laughs> that, Dave? I have no idea. No. Was it? Dave, was, Dave was making fun of you for getting your car stuck, but it was someone else. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. I hope not. Well, like I say, these are, I mean, even the, these are big enough that even my elevator stuff that I'm not going to use a while, I can get two pallets in one and right. put them up there. Those and really long ones, you probably put units in those. Probably. Because they're, they're another foot, at least another foot longer, if not a foot and a half longer. 
has to get much bigger than this. We're not going to go on the pallet racking very well. With something underneath. Huh? Well, they're 40, 40 inches wide on one side, 45 on the other put side. Put it on sideways, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just glad they're here. I'm glad. To I'm glad they had these little windows. Glad we had a good. Yeah, because I was going through, so I thought we might have just cut a sawzall so we can see what so you can get into it without having to. Yeah, I, I'm I'm up my price 125 to 150. <laughs> the windows. They get the tape for that. Is that extra? Oops, I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> uh.